Good morning, YouTubers. Uh, today I'm going to tie one of my favorite still water patterns. I call it the, the Orange Blossom Special. <laughs> Don't know why I came up with that name, mostly because it's got a lot of orange in it. But um, I'm going to tie this fly on a Moonlit MLO 54 size 6 hook. This is 2x long, 1x strong. That's the package there. I'm going to use for my thread. I'm going to be tying with Semperfly number or eight aught rust waxed thread. I'm going to begin by dressing my hook with the thread. I'm tying this fly on my my Norvice. I've been tying on for about 14 years and I'm absolutely in love with the tool. One thing after I do dress my thread I like to put a layer of, of cement over the top of the thread. I'm gonna put a little crazy glue on there. I find that my if I lock that thread in good the flies hold together much much better. The next thing I'm going to put on this fly is a piece of uh, <laughs> Wooly Bugger Marabou in Rust. This is from Hairline. I like to use Wooly Bugger Marabou for my smaller fly patterns because I, I find if I use the Marabou I can get three different flies out of each piece of feather. What I do is hold the feather up towards the top of it and then strip down about a third of the feather off of the bar or barb of the fly or, or feather. Then trim off the the junk and taper it a little bit. And I just pinch that onto the top of the barb there. tie it in. I don't like too long of a feather or a tail feather on my flies. It seems you get a lot of short strikes and stuff if they get too long so I like like them a little bit shorter than most people do. Next thing I'm going to add into the tail is a three strands of Wopsy Copper Crystal Flash. There we go. When I apply that, I try and separate the three stand strands so one is on the top of the fly and two drop down each side. After I get them tied in, I like to take my crystal flash and pull it back towards the back and lock it in and that keeps those fibers from being pulled out easily when you're handling a fly and a fish. Next thing I'm going to do is tie in an orange barred grizzly hackle. This is a whiting hackle I believe. And I'm going to tie it in from the tip and separate all my fibers first. I want this fly to, to get wider as it goes. So it, it's narrow at the back of the body and wider up towards the head. Now I'm going to use a dubbing loop on this fly. And before I do my dubbing loop, I'm going to coat my fly. This is wax thread, but a friend of mine showed me this trick where you take a piece of plastic like a clamshell for lettuce and cut it in strips and put a little bit of the glue that goes in a glue mouse trap or a rat trap. Just put a little daub in the center of the plastic there then fold it over and put a staple in it with the edges offset and it makes a really easy to use really great functioning dubbing wax. Kind of a fun trick. I'm 
I'm going to advance my thread up to the behind the eye of the hook. Now I'm going to apply Arizona Semi Seal uh, Canadian Brown dubbing material. If you can see it there, it has real good colors in it and really gives a lot of life to the fly. Slide that up into my dubbing loop and try not to cut my thread. I put a little thinner towards the back of the hook and thicker up towards the head again to give some taper to the body. I'm just going to start to spin that. After I get a little bit of a spin going, I'm going to take my hackle feather and hold it down right next to the dubbing loop and holding the hackle feather as I go I'm going to spin the hackle feather in with my dubbing loop. What this does it, it, it gives you a really solid both your dubbing and your hackle feather are much stronger than just typically applying them the other way. Now I'm going to rotate my up to the eye of the hook and you can spread this out you can make it as bulky or as um, sparse as you're inclined to do trim that off and clean up the head a little bit and build a good head. I fish this both as a, an orange leech pattern. Some of the lakes I like to fish, like Henry's Lake up in Idaho, has lots of large orange, rust orange leeches in it. And it also works very well. Uh, a reservoir called Strawberry Reservoir in Utah that I fish quite often has a lot of crayfish in it and it works on the bottom fished as a crayfish pattern. I'm going to whip finish this fly. And now I'm going to apply a thin coat of solar bone dry clear cure glue. I really like this solar because it, it has this real cool small application brush that works like a champ. Roll it around, put a little on the underside. it with my UV flashlight and there you have it. Uh -huh.